sit back and enjoy as we bring you one of the greatest sporting spectacles on earth, the Super Bowl. Welcome to Cowboys Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Gus Johnson along with Chris Collinsworth. It's the biggest game in America, the Super Bowl, as the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Packers. Who do you see as the key players for this matchup, Chris? Well, Gus, I've got my eyes on the two quarterbacks in this one. I had a chance to talk to both of these guys, obviously guys that have experience in this situation. They've been here before, and yet it's always so interesting. You can see a different look in their eyes when they're warming up. You know that they know the significance of these matchups, and it just adds another level of excitement to the football game. When you're talking about this kind of talent on the field, this should be a really good one. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Let's get it going. Interesting, Chris. Great storyline here today, and we'll follow that storyline as this game moves on. Crosby has the ball teed up, and we're ready to get this Super Bowl underway. They drop the runner at the 19. They'll set up shop at the 19. Short throw to the left. Nick Barnett was defending on the play. Here's the throw. Up top! Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. On the ground, up the middle. He gets to about the 47-yard line. Atari Bigby was there to bring him down. So they line up at the 47. He rolls out to the right. Nick Barnett was there for the stop. Yeah, I don't think that was a designed quarterback run on that one. He simply couldn't find anybody open, saw a running lane, and boy, that didn't stay open for very long either. Second down and seven. They go with the run. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. They line up at the 49. Flips it out short to his left. The stop was made by Clay Matthews. And that one's good for five yards through the air. It's fourth down. The Steelers line up to punt. Here's the punt. 
Wait, they're going to throw it. Turning the ball over on downs this early in the game just gives your opponent too much momentum unnecessarily. Rolls to his right. Short throw to the right. And the tackle was made by Lamar Woodley. Just about three yards there. Really nowhere for the wide receiver to go on that one. I'm not sure if the quarterback realized it was man coverage on that play. Good coverage downfield. Comes down with it. Six yards that time on the pass play. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. Passes it short. Complete. Nice catch. And he's tackled at the 40. This team is just so good at executing those short, quick passes and picking up first downs and keeping drives alive. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. It's a pass. He's off target on the pass. Incomplete. Greg Jennings was his intended target. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Grant takes it up the middle. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. So another third down coming up for the offense. Goes through his progression. Caught and dropped immediately. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. It's first and ten. They spot the rock on the 30. He throws downfield. Another catch on this drive. He's tackled at the five. The Packers are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. They start with the ball on the five. And he's crushed as he lets it go. They brought the blitz that time. Didn't get there, but did throw off the timing of the play to get the incompletion. They line it up at the four-yard line. Grant gets the call. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time.
Big play opportunity for the offense. It's third and goal from the five. Barely gets it off. James Jones was the intended receiver on the play. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. Fourth down. They'll line this one up. This one 23 yards away. It's up, and it's good. The Packers get on the board first and seize an early 3 to nothing edge. And here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon, the official wireless service sponsor of the National Football League. This will be down to the end zone for a touchback. It's first and 10. The ball is on their own 20. They're going deep. Yeah, they brought the blitz and the offensive line just unable to pick it up that time to force the incompletion. They'll face second down and 10. Going up top. He's got a man out there. Uh-oh. Watch out. And he's gone. Touchdown, Steelers. <laughs> the Steelers go nearly 80 yards in two plays. He just ran away from everybody there. There are plenty of players with speed on this defense, but he made all those guys look slow. Point after is good. Pittsburgh holds a four-point lead. This is a good opportunity to take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. He'll take it from the two. He brings it back to the 23. The Packers settled for a field goal on their last possession. We have our first penalty of the game. Scrambling away from the rush. Comes down with it. And that will back this one up. Penalties like that sometimes will split a huddle. You'll get half the guys patting you on the back and saying that's okay, and the other half are looking at you like, you idiot. Kissel gets his hands on him and drags him down for a loss at the 10-yard line. And the offense is at their own 10. Still a lot of time left, but at the end of one, the score is 7-3. to three.
a burst of speed, and he's in the open. Yeah, and the key is making that first pass rusher miss you. More often than not, there's one guy in your way. You can make that first guy miss. A lot of times those defenders have their backs turned and are running away from you. Looking for a man. He rolls out to his right. And they get to him. Gotta think they'll punt it away here in this situation. No point in taking any chances when you're on the wrong side of the field like this. The sack brings up a fourth and very long situation. Logan gets it way upfield at the 45. The Steelers took full advantage of their last offensive opportunity with that touchdown. Now we'll see if they can extend that lead with this drive. He lets it go. Throws it into coverage. Easily intercepted. He tries to spin and he's dropped. And there's no question they were sitting on that one. That is one of the bread and butter pass plays of this offense. They've been working against it all week. And that was a special little trick there that came up with the interception. He's got room. He's brought down at the 42. This quarterback's a good athlete, no question about it. When he drops back to throw, you had better account for his ability to run the football or you're going to give up a first down like they just did. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Surveys the field. Farrier knocks it down incomplete. James Farrier with the coverage on the play. Just make plays one at a time. So the Rock sits at the 42. Has a man to his right. Little flip. He's wrestled down at the 49-yard line. Yeah, really not much a defense can do when you get a guy that can throw the football like that. You know, you get yourselves in position defensively. You think you're in the right spot. You're going to make a play. And a guy makes a throw like that. And you go, hey, that's a good throw. Breaks through up the gut. He's looking for a burst of speed. Touchdown, Green Bay. The Packers go nearly 75 yards in five plays for the score. I think it's safe to say there aren't many players in the NFL with the kind of vision that he has. All he has to do is find a little single crease in the defense, and he really makes you pay. Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. Green Bay is up a field goal. This is a good opportunity to take a look at the drive summary presented by Verizon. Bay will be kicking off. Logan is deep looking to return the kickoff. He makes it out to the 20. The Steelers turn the ball over on an interception their last time out. Gets it away. Big B. 
He's dropped down at the 30. Well, so much for the theory that defensive backs can't catch. That was really a nice catch on that one. Ops for a short throw. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Greg Jennings makes his third catch of the game. Second down and very short yardage here. On the ground with the tailback. He may not have gotten there. They'll measure. It was enough to move the chains. On the handoff, a pickup of about three. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. They line up at the 17. Has a man short to his left. Seven-yard gain on the play. It may be time now for this defense to start thinking about attacking a little more and bringing some pressure on the receiver. You can't keep giving up those short, quick throws. Green Bay with a first and goal with their eyes on going up by two scores. On the ground, up the middle. And when the defense gets that kind of penetration, it just disrupts everything for an offense. They have to get that guy blocked. Ten yards away from the end zone. And he's tackled at the 10. The defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. Well, it's now third down and goal. They'll need 10 yards for the score. He's going to pass. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Donald Driver was the intended receiver. This one should be makeable. This one is from 27 yards away. The kick is no good. He hooked it left. Ay, 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 ay. When you see your field goal kicker miss one that short, I mean, that's just a gift. You're giving away three easy points there. Gives it up the gut. He's wrestled down at the 23. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator, bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Second and seven situation here. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. He loads up for the deep throw. Can't complete that pass. Antoine Randall was his intended target. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. Yeah. 
searching for an open man. Buying time with his feet. Under heavy pressure, the Packers just took their first time out. It's fourth down. The Steelers lining up to punt. They catch him at the 40. He got everything he could, but there really wasn't much room. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but there's no space to be found there. Aaron Rodgers absolutely drilled that one in there, and he needed to. This guy can throw as hard as anybody in the league. He's searching for a receiver. Watch out, he's got space. He's brought down at the 23. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. They line up at the 23. The Packers will take their second time out of the half. It's first and ten. The Rock sitting at the 23. Here's the pass. Greg Jennings with his fourth catch of the game. Flips it out short to his left. Caught out of bounds. Incomplete. Here's a look at today's red zone numbers made possible by Old Spice Body Wash. Smell like a man, man. And they need just eight for the score. Short pass to his left. He has it, but is out of bounds. Incomplete pass. Not a perfectly timed throw that time. Held on to it just a little too long and led the receiver out of bounds. The offense sets up eight yards away from the end zone here. Dumps it short. Complete. Nice catch. Touchdown, Green Bay. The Packers punch it in after going nearly 60 yards in six plays. Aaron Rodgers really came through there. They were in that tough third and long situation. He calmly got the job done. Exactly the kind of skills you like to see in your quarterback. The PAT is up and good. Green Bay is just about ready to kick this one away. Logan is back to receive the kick and takes off from his own goal line pushing forward they catch him at the 19 it's only a two possession game but still they need to get their offense going before things start to get out of hand here run right side Pittsburgh takes the timeout and they've got two timeouts remaining Mm -hmm. 
It's second down and seven to go. They hand it off. He gets to about the 31-yard line. Nothing makes a defensive coordinator cringe more than seeing that kind of run because then it sets up the play action, and there's almost no way to stop an offense if you can't stop the run and you have to deal with play action. Looks for the safe short throw. And he's tackled at the 38. Keith Miller makes his third grab. They'll need about three yards here on second down. He gets off the throw. He makes another catch. He's wrestled down at the 47-yard line. The Steelers get another good gainer that time. This offense is finding early success in the passing game. Passes short right side. Can't stay in bounds. Incomplete pass. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. Ball is on the 47. Still looking for an open man. He's going deep with it. He drops the easy pick. And we've come to halftime here. The score is 17-7. will get it first here in the second half. Blackman fields the ball at the five. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. They'll set up shop at the 25. First down and 10. Checks down to the short pass. That incompletion will bring up second down. He's going to throw it. Complete. Nice catch. Donald Driver with his fourth catch of the game. They hand it off. He's tackled at the 39-yard line. Grant gains about a yard on the play. Grant takes a handoff.
Looks left. Here's a short pass. And he's tackled at the 48 yard line. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. It's first and ten. He throws short, comes down with it. He's wrestled down at the 45. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. Quarterbacks love throwing that slant against zone coverage. Wide receivers, they're not always too crazy about it. There's some big guys in there. And it brings up second and three coming up here. The pass is away. He's dropped down at the 30. Greg Jennings with his fifth grab of the game. The pigs get oh. He rolls out to the right. It's knocked down. Excellent play by the defender. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. Hands it off. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Gets maybe a couple. And now it's third down. That brings up another third down attempt. Has a man to his right. Little flip, hit, and drop behind the line. Back to the line, but nothing more. And terrible. Fourth down. This one will be from 45 yards out. The kick is good the long one with room to spare it really was wasn't it there are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now just a lot of love and here is the drive summary brought to you by Verizon he makes it out to the 20 they'll start at the 20 Green Bay has all their defensive backs in for the five-wide set. Dumps it out right. They tackle him for a loss. Nothing doing on that play. That'll bring up second down. They'll face second down and 10. Ball on their own 18. The give to the tailback. Hammered in the backfield. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time there was nowhere to go. He is wanting to go deep with it. 
He's tackled at the 45. And when you get a wide receiver with that kind of talent on the outside, he is a threat to take it all the way on any play. Excellent gain through the air. Will set them up with another first down and 10. Decides to run for it. He's brought down at the 40. Yeah, really not a bad play on that one to pull a ball down in that situation because now not only do you have to you know, think about maybe pulling somebody out of coverage or maybe just slow down that pass rush a little bit, but it plants a seed in the defense's mind. Sweep left. He's wrestled down at the 36-yard line. Four yards on that play. That brings up third down. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. It's a fumble. Who's going to come up with this one? The Packers win the scramble. They take over. Nice work to get that ball and cover it up. He's a hustling player. He got there, and then he's strong enough to get it out of the pile. Passes short right side. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Greg Jennings has six catches now. So at the end of three, the score is 27. have possession and control of the game as we get ready to begin the fourth. Handoff up the middle. He's tackled at the 35. That's a two-yard game. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. So it's third down. The offense will need about four yards to pick up the first. Short throw to the left. He's dropped down at the 38. The Steelers came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. He takes the ball at the 20. They drop the runner at the 27-yard line. You know, I like that return. Nothing flashy, but it was really effective. The thing I hate to see are guys that are dancing around back there trying to be a playmaker when they're really not. At least he got up the field, got a few yards. That's what I like to see. Again, they go with the run. You know, I understand you can't completely abandon the running game, but my goodness, let's go. Let's pick it up. You've got to put some points up. Looking for a man. 
Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. Here they go, third down and eight. Ball on the 29-yard line. Looks to throw it. And he drops the short pick. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. It's fourth down. The Steelers are lining up to punt it away. He's tackled and down at the 34. They have a decent lead late in the game. What do you expect to see here? Well, now's the time that you want to use as much clock as possible. And they absolutely the worst thing that can happen is turn the football over. So a lot of safe runs, maybe some screens, maybe some pitches, some sweeps. Just anything to keep the chains moving at this point. First down and 10. Ball is on the 47. Up the middle. He's wrestled down at the 49-yard line. Grant goes down after a gain of two. Has a man to his right. Little flip. He's brought down at the 42. And we've seen this offense go for the vertical stretch in the past. But now they're going for the horizontal stretch. They're really making this defense cover from sideline to sideline. First down. Ten to go. will be brought down. Grant runs for a four-yard pickup. Second and six yards to go. Inside give. He's dropped down at the 37. Two-yard pickup. And so it will be third down. Four yards, Four yards for a first here on third down. Good coverage downfield. It's a pick. There you see the kind of overall skills that makes this guy special. Not only can he blitz and play the run, he can get back in coverage too. First down and 10. On their own, let's say 43. No time to throw. They didn't fall for the fake. I really like what they did that time. Nice job by the Packers. It's now second and long following the sack.
Flips it out short. Brings it in for a completion. He's wrestled down at the 48-yard line. Keith Miller now has five catches. And they will speed things up a bit by going no huddle. Rolls to his right. It's complete. Clutch reception. You know, it really wasn't a horrible call that time by the defense. But any time you have to try and stop an offense like this in those medium yardage situations, you really have to come up in the coverage. Dumps it out right. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. Good play design there. Very solid protection. Gave the quarterback time to examine the whole field until he finally found the open man. He's going to run with it. It's loose. He's loose and running strong. And for a ball carrier, the number one fastest way to land on the bench is to cough one up like that. That is just not good. They'll start at the 49-yard line. Here's the give. He reaches the 43-yard line. Grant gets eight yards on the play. And two yards away here on second down. On the ground, up the middle. The time the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. It's third down and four to go. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. Here's a halfback. He's brought down at the 40. And every first down in this situation means minutes tend to run off that clock. It is so difficult to get off the field when the offense can run the football like that. They have it at the 40. Hands it to the back. He fights forward to about the 39. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. And that time there were no holes, really. And he was lucky to get anything on the play. They'll keep it on the ground again. The Steelers take a timeout. So that was their last timeout. Third down, 12 yards to the first. Jackson gets it on the counter. What about that play call? Well, I always like to see an offense stay aggressive, I guess. But at least in this situation, it's a fourth quarter. You have the lead. I can understand the call. Come on, dog. They call on the field goal unit. This one from 58 yards.
And he missed it wide left. The Steelers will set up shop at the 48-yard line. Goes through his progression. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Passes short right side. And he's out of bounds. Incomplete. And they really forced him to throw that one before he had a chance to read the coverage. You know, typically when they blitz, you end up in one-on-one -on -one coverage, but you have to have time to throw the ball. Third down and 10 coming up here. Surveys the field. And the pass is incomplete. Antoine randall -El was the intended receiver on the play. Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Looks like they're going for it here on fourth down. He's looking over the top. It's tipped and falls incomplete. I can't really second guess the call on the part of the offense there. They really felt like they needed to keep this drive alive, just didn't get it done. The Packers are about to be called Super Bowl champions. What a game they've played tonight. They go with the kneel down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Cheeseheads rejoice. The Green Bay Packers are Super Bowl 45 champions. Maybe the most storied team in NFL history. With this victory, the Packers have won their fourth championship in five chances. Their first coming at the start of it all in the first ever Super Bowl in 1966. This club has been building towards a championship for the last few seasons and were brokenhearted when they were bounced by the Arizona Cardinals in a wild shootout last year. But all the pieces fell into perfect place, and it's fitting that they claim the Lombardi Trophy as it was named after this franchise's historic coach. These players have played their entire lives for this moment, from backyard to high school, to college, and finally the NFL. Daydreaming about the chance to be at center stage after the final whistle, to raise the Lombardi Trophy, to call themselves Super Bowl champions. With history within reach, they made the plays that mattered most. The highlight reel is set. The plays that will go down in NFL history that brought this battle to its final conclusion. But while one team is covered in the confetti of triumph, the beauty of sport is that there can only be one champion. For the losing team, it's heartbreaking to give so much, to get so close, and to come up empty. You simply can't quantify how much this victory means to these players, how much it means to this city, and how important it is to all these loyal fans that year in and year out give their passionate support so many superstar players never made it to this pinnacle. For others, it defined their careers. 
but this win has created a bond between these players that can never be broken, and it will take them to places they could never go before.